I'm standing here between the Colosseum, the Arch of Constantine, the Palatine Hill, and the Roman Forum. From here, how do I get to the Roman Forum and the Palatine Hill? On today's video, I'm going to share with you where the main entrances are to visit the park of the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. I'm also going to show you where the exits are because they are not always in the same place. I'm also going to show you a couple of my favorite secret entrances. I call them secret entrances because I think most people don't even realize these entrances exist. As a consequence, there's almost never anybody in line there. At the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a brand new entrance they've just introduced to the Roman Forum Palatine Hill, and I think it's a game changer. When you're visiting the Roman Forum Palatine Hill, which by the way is one park, I think it's a secret weapon to know where all of the entrances and exits are because you may want to go in or come out at a point that's strategic to you and what you're planning to do for the rest of the day. I think you also might want to know where to enter this park without having to wait in huge lines. Most of the entrances are also exits and vice versa, but it's not always the case. In the description below, I'm linking to my Google map where I have marked out every single entrance and exit to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. But I'm actually going to take you with me and show them all to you so you can see exactly where they are, what they look like, so you'll be able to recognize them when you visit. For every entry and exit point, I'll also share with you what are the closest things nearby so you can use that information to plan your strategy for sightseeing. All right, without further ado, let's go check out all of the entry and exit points to the Roman Forum Palatine Hill, starting with the two that are closest to this spot. Guys, I'm sitting here next to this huge line to get into the Roman Forum here at the Arch of Titus on the Via Sacra. I think this is the entrance that most people use for a lot of reasons. You come out of the Colosseum, you can just see it right from the Colosseum. It's pretty evident, so you just go there. So all the people waiting to get into this entrance here at the Arch of Titus already have a ticket, either because they visited the Colosseum and so they have the Roman Forum included, or they have the Roman Forum Super Pass. Unlike the Colosseum, tickets to the Roman Forum are not nominative, so you don't need to show ID to get into the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. But look at the tour groups coming. Look at all the tour groups with the flags. That's what these lines are. These lines are tour groups going in, and they are kind of clogging up the entrance to the Roman Forum here at the Arch of Titus. I have really good news for those of you not taking a tour and going in on your own. Here at the Arch of Titus, on the left-hand side is the line for tour groups, and on the right-hand side is the line for individual ticket holders. So if you're like me and you just have a ticket and you want to go in, you do not have to wait in that huge line of tour groups. You just go in on the right-hand side and you will have a very short line. Remember, everyone has to go through security, so that is what is holding up the line. Nothing else, really. You just show your tickets and you go in through security. The lines move quickly, so if you are on a tour, don't worry about these huge lines. It does move quickly, and while you're waiting in the line, your tour leader or tour guide is going to be talking to you about the site you're about to visit anyway, so it will go quickly. you can also see behind me, the Arch of Titus is also an exit point. You're also seeing this road that goes up this way, and I've done a video for you about this. This is a free way to visit the Roman Forum Palatine Hill, just a little bit on the edges, because it doesn't allow you entrance to the park. It's just a walkway that takes you along the edge, and you can look into the park from there. So this entrance to the Roman Forum from the Arch of Titus right here has arguably the longest lines, although it is possibly the most convenient in terms of being closest to where you enter and exit the Colosseum. From here, I'm going to take you with me to the second closest entrance to the Roman Forum Palatine Hill. It's the entrance on Via di San Gregorio, which arguably is the entrance specifically to the Palatine Hill, although, as I've told you, it's all connected. So let's head over there. All right, guys, this is the entrance to the Palatine Hill on Via di San Gregorio. 
This entrance used to be my secret hot tip for purchasing tickets to the Coliseum because there used to be a ticket office here, but there isn't one any longer. So this is purely an entrance to and an exit from the Palatine Hill. Unlike the entrance at the Arch of Titus, at this entrance there is not a way to skip the long lines of tour groups. The simple reason being that there is literally only one x-ray machine, so there's only one line to go through security. So if you're an individual visitor, you'll have to stand in the line along with all of the tour groups. But as with the entrance at the Arch of Titus, there isn't anybody checking ID, they're just checking your tickets and you have to go through security. So the line does move fairly quickly. I used to also say that this was my secret entrance point because typically there didn't used to be these long lines and big groups here, but I think the secret is out. However, if you come at 9 a.m. when it opens, you will not find these long lines or you usually won't. So what's right here at this entrance at Via di San Gregorio and the exit? From this entrance and exit, you can also visit the new archeological park that's literally across the street from it that I talked about in another video. That's where you'll find the new museum of the Forma Urbis, the map of Rome. Next to that museum, you can visit the Roman houses at Celio. You can visit the Celli Montana Park. It is a great place to visit before or after your visit to the Palatine Hill. And just down the road this way, you'll come to the Circus Maximus. So now I've showed you two entrances and exits to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill that are very close to the Colosseum itself. And as you can see, both of these are plagued with sometimes very long lines. And so you may still be wondering, how can we avoid these lines? It's time for me to show you the next entrance to the Palatine Hill and the Roman Forum. Back here at the Colosseum, we're now gonna head to the third entrance to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill from here. At this juncture, before I take you to the third entrance to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill, I'm gonna show you something that may look like it's an entrance, but it's not. But there is something special to see there, so let's go check it out. I think often visitors come here because they think that this might be an entrance to the Roman Forum. After all, there is a pathway that leads you from the Colosseum to this huge ruin, which is the Basilica of Maxentius. Then when you get here, you see this ancient Roman road, so it seems like this is all part of ancient Rome and something you should be able to visit. However, this spot here is simply an exit of the Roman Forum. It is not an entrance. But if you come during opening hours, there is something very special you can see from right here. This church, Santa Maria Nova, is a very important church. If you visit Santa Maria Antiqua inside the Roman Forum, one of the super sites, you'll see a huge depiction of an icon there. The original of that icon is in this church. It was moved here when the church was built. That church came to be known as Santa Maria Antiqua, the old church, and this church is Santa Maria Nova, the new church. I'm gonna take you inside with me, but first I had to cover my shoulders. Let's go. So whether you come here by accident or you actually want to see this church, either way, this church is absolutely worth a visit. However, as much as we are right on the edge of the Roman Forum and we can look right down into it, this is not an entrance. So let me take you there now. And we're back to where we started before I took you on that little detour to Santa Maria Nova. Now, let's keep going so I can show you the next entrance to the Roman Forum that's not far from the Colosseum. This intersection of Via dei Fori Imperiali and Via Cavour is called Largo Corrado Ricci. And here behind me, you can see that there is an entrance to the Roman Forum. At this entrance, there's also a ticket office. Here at this ticket booth, just like at the ticket booth that's in front of the Colosseum, you can purchase same-day tickets to the Colosseum, which includes access to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. Both of these ticket booths tend to have long lines in front of them, although here at Largo Corradurici, I often find that the lines are shorter. 
Today, for example, there's hardly anybody in line. So when you show up at this entrance, if you see two lines, one will be to purchase tickets and you can tell which line that is because there's a big ticket booth in front of that line and the other is to go inside. Similar to the entrance at Via di San Gregorio, there's only one line to use to get in. So if you're an individual ticket holder, you'll have to wait in the same line as the tour groups. But as I mentioned, even when you see these lines to get in, they move quickly because the people in those lines already have tickets and they're not checking ID. At this entrance, you'll find a cafe as soon as you go in. You'll also find an elevator, but it's only available to those in a wheelchair. And finally, this entrance is also an exit. All right, the three entrances and exits that I've showed you so far are the closest to the Colosseum. As you know, when you purchase a ticket to the Colosseum, you must go inside the Colosseum at the time you booked. And for all Colosseum tickets except the night tour, your ticket comes with entrance to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill within 24 hours of your Colosseum entry time. If you plan to visit the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill right before or after your Colosseum visit, you may want to use one of the three entrances that I just showed you because they are the closest to the Colosseum. But if you plan to visit the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill separately from your Colosseum visit, you will want to know about these other three entrances that I like to call my secret entrances. Obviously, they are not a secret, but I find that there is almost never a line there. In fact, I've literally never seen a line at any of these entrances. Two of these entrances have been around for a while, and yet I literally never see a line there. The third entrance, which is the one I'm going to show you at the end of this video, is brand new, and it has something very special about it. So now come with me while I show you where these other three secret entrances to the Roman Forum are located. Now I'm leaving the Via dei Fori Imperiali. I'm heading up this little road here to Campidoglio, Capitoline Hill, but I'm gonna show you a little shortcut to take you to my first secret entrance to the Roman Forum. Here I am standing right over the Roman Forum and next to the Arch of Septimius Severus. Just behind me, I have the Mamertine Prison, which is in itself a wonderful site to visit. And above me is Capitoline Hill, Campidoglio. As you can see, there are people coming down the stairs from Capitoline Hill. So you can come down those stairs if you want to enter the Roman Forum right here. Maybe you've been up at Capitoline Hill just checking out the beautiful square, the beautiful architecture, or maybe you've been visiting the Capitoline Museums. Perhaps you've been checking out the giant statue of Emperor Constantine. For whatever reason, if you're in that piazza and you want to come to the Roman Forum, this is probably the closest entrance. It's another one of my favorite secret entrances because many people don't seem to know about it. In fact, look behind me. There's almost nobody here. By the way, this entrance does not function as an exit. Back out on the Via dei Fori Imperiali, not far from here, is my second favorite secret entrance to the Roman Forum. This entrance is really special because it includes a whole extra site from ancient Rome that I think most people have no idea idea is included in their Roman Forum ticket. So let's head over there now. I'm standing here at the end of the Via dei Fori Imperiali, the road of the Imperial Fora. To my right is the Complesso Vittoriano, and just beyond that is Piazza Venezia, currently under a lot of construction. And to my left is the Forum of Trajan. The Forum of Trajan is one of the Fori Imperiali, the Imperial Fora. A lot of people don't realize, but you can actually visit the Forum of Trajan. You can walk down on the floor and right under the Column of Trajan. This entrance to Trajan's Forum is really amazing because not only does it get you into Trajan's Forum, but it allows you to take the walkways that'll bring you underneath the Via dei Fori Imperiali right into the Forum of Julius Caesar. So you guessed it, this is one of my favorite entrances to the Roman Forum in Palatine Hill, even if it seems like it's a little bit far from that park. This entrance, which also functions as an exit, is close to Piazza Venezia and not far from the Trevi Fountain and the Spanish Steps. So this is convenient if you are in this area or wanting to exit the park in this area. So let's head into Trajan's Forum and I'm gonna take you with me and show you how to get to the Roman Forum from here. I'm here, uh, right here on the uh, floor of Trajan's Forum. I've got it mostly to myself. 
It's absolutely beautiful. And this, believe it or not, is part of the same ticket as your Roman Forum and Palatine Hill ticket. So you can also come here from the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. A lot of people don't realize that, so they miss this part, but I think it's really amazing. So we're gonna head into this passageway that's gonna take us underneath the Via dei Fori Imperiali. We're going to wind up in the Forum of Julius Caesar. It's really short and it's not claustrophobic, at least in my opinion. I'm one of those people who's sort of claustrophobic, but I can definitely do this. So let's check it out. Also, don't forget that this goes both ways. So that's about it. It is a little bit of a labyrinth. I think if you don't stop and read all of the panels or look at some of the artifacts in there, you can get through this passageway in less than two minutes. It's about the same amount of time as it takes to cross the street because that's what you're doing. You're crossing underneath the Via dei Fori Imperiali. Now that we're here, let's take a look at Julius Caesar's Forum. Right here between the Roman Forum and Julius Caesar's Forum, there is a little known exit. It does not function as an entrance, just an exit. Remember, when you visit the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill and the Imperial Fora on this ticket, there is no re-entry. Behind me, you can see an elevator. There are several of these in the Roman Forum. This is specifically only for people in a wheelchair or with a certified disability. At this spot, this elevator functions only to leave the Forum, not to come in. At this point, we can see the Curia. This is visible as one of the super sites if you've got a super pass. The Curia was the Senate in ancient Rome and it is part of the Roman Forum. So we are leaving Julius Caesar's Forum now and we're entering the Roman Forum. That's it, we've made it into the Roman Forum from the entrance at Trajan's Forum. If you don't stop and look at things or talk as I'm doing, you'll make it here in under 10 minutes. Of course, I think it is worth stopping to see all of the things there are to see along the way. I'm here on Campidoglio, Capitoline Hill. So if you find yourself here and looking for an entrance to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill, three of them are close to this spot. Two of them I just showed you. One is just to the side of me, down near the Mamertine prison. The other is just out there on the Via dei Fori Imperiali, which leads you into the Forum of Trajan. And the third one is just down from Capitoline Hill on the other side. So I'm gonna take you there with me now. As you can see from this spot, I have a wonderful overview of the Roman Forum. And from here, I can walk down to the newest entrance to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. So follow me as I take you there. Guys, I'm standing here at the new entrance to the Roman Forum Palatine Hill. This is on Via Foro Romano. It's not that easy to find, but I'm linking to a map in the description below where you can see exactly where it is. This has long been an exit of the Roman Forum, but it has now become also an entrance. But there's more. Here's the exit. And just over here is the new entrance. Why is this so exciting? First of all, as you can see, there's nobody here yet. The word has not gotten out. This is also a brand new ticket office. You can purchase tickets here to the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, and the Palatine Hill. You know about the ticket offices on the other side, one in front of the Colosseum and one in front of the Roman Forum on Via dei Fori Imperiali. Those typically have very long lines. Right here at this ticket office, just as at the other ticket offices, you can purchase same-day tickets to the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, and the Palatine Hill. As you know, a ticket to the Colosseum gets you into the Roman Forum, Palatine Hill, and vice versa. So whatever ticket you purchase gets you into the other site. So if you come here and purchase your ticket, you're first gonna go inside of the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill, but you'll have to make it to the Colosseum in time for your timed visit. Remember, there is no re-entry. So once you come in here to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill, you're gonna wanna spend all the time you have and see all the things you wanna see because afterwards, when you leave to go to your Colosseum visit, you will not be able to come back in. 
Unlike the other ticket offices, this ticket office is quite small and there is only one line, one line for ticket holders and one line for people who want to buy tickets. I think this is an excellent place to enter the Roman Forum, Palatine Hill, if you are staying in this area, if you're visiting Capitoline Hill, the Capitoline Museums, if you're staying in the Aventine Hill or near the Circus Maximus, this is an excellent vantage point. And by the same token, this is a great place to exit the Roman Forum if you want to be near any of those sites. So guys, as I mentioned, this is a great entrance to use if you are not tying your visit here to your Colosseum visit. Unless you time it properly and you allow yourself enough time here in the Roman Forum in Palatine Hill before you have to make your way to the Colosseum. Alternatively, you can come here to this ticket office, purchase your same day ticket to the Colosseum, and then walk all the way around to the Colosseum from here. And if you're wondering how to enter the Colosseum, you can check out my video right here.